besides besides teaching here this week, which I have enjoyed immensely, we've been recording a program that's going to come out in December. Uh, I call it the Joy of Being, and it's a lot of beautiful tools for life. To the reason we practice is so that we can be in there, right? In the joy of being constantly. And that's what happens. That's, that's why we practice. So as you practice now, as you're doing the postures, remember the objective is not that you can do a posture. The objective is that when you walk out the door, your life is better than when you walked in. And that's what's going to happen. Please stand up. I also run a program called the Full Circle, which is, you know, for six weeks to how to weave into your life this different vision, these different tools of life. Very simple, natural ways that will help your life being the best expression that it can be. So I invite you to check those out when, when, um, when you hear about them. Toes, heels touching each other. Let's begin with the pranayama breathing. Interlace your fingers, glue your knuckles under your chin, relax your shoulders, thighs solid, hips contracted. You're gonna inhale through the nose, but exhale through the mouth. Use your throat so that you can control the breath. When you inhale, the elbows move up. Ready, let's do it. Begin, inhale. Full lungs, hold the breath, exhale. Ah, push your head up, back, bring the elbows forward and touch the elbows away from your chest. Inhale, bring the head down, arms up, suck the stomach in. Touch your biceps to the ears, stretch up, hold it, exhale. Look at the ceiling, look at the back wall, try to look at the floor behind you, bring the elbows forward, touch them, inhale. Head down, arms up, everyone together, please. Suck the stomach in, ribcage visible, full lungs, hold it there, exhale. Now use your 10 fingers to push the head way, way, way back. Neck might hurt a little bit, it's okay, try to spiral to the floor. Inhale, head down, arms up, thighs solid, hips contracted, stretch up, try to touch the ceiling, exhale, keep lifting the chest, chest up, chest up, chest up, as the head goes back, touch the elbows, hold it, inhale, very slowly, slower is better, feel the lungs expanding, full lungs, full lungs, exhale, open your mouth and exhale through your mouth, make a sound, H A. Inhale, head down, arms up, concentrate and meditate. Don't even blink your eyes, full lungs. Exhale, feel how this breath helps you to go into the meditation so that your whole class is a meditation. Touch the elbows away from your chest, inhale. Concentrate, relax your face, feel the lungs expanding. Bring more oxygen into your body, more and more and more. Exhale, in order to bring more oxygen, what do you have to do? Empty. So make sure all toxins out, everything out, everything out, empty, inhale. If you were empty, a lot of air can rush in. That means more life. Biceps to the ears, stretch up, touch the ceiling, exhale. Keep the spine straight, no backward bending. Just use your knuckles to push your head back. Triceps, parallel to floor, touch the elbows. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, exhale, one two, three, four, five, six, inhale, head down, thigh solid, lock the knees, suck the stomach in, biceps to the ears, inhale a little bit more, exhale, all air out, completely empty, your mind empty also, nothing to think, bring the arms down, look at yourself in the mirror, just let the class take you away. No thoughts needed. Toes and heels touching each other. Arms of the head sideways. Palms together. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Thumbs are crossed. Nice tight grip. Please don't lose this grip. Your palms should be touching all the way up to your wrists. Squeeze them together. Stretch up and move the body right and left. Right and left. Feel the stretching all the way up to your fingertips. Feel the both sides of the body stretching. Try to touch the ceiling, right, left, right, left. Now stop in the middle, please. Try to keep your feet together, please. Toes and heels touching. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, biceps touching with your ears. Push your hips a little bit forward. Lean the upper body a couple of inches, chin up, body weight on your heels. Look forward, concentrate, take a deep breath. Full lungs, hold the breathing. Stretch out of the waist one more time. Touch the ceiling and absolutely straight line slowly. Bend the body to the right. 
without bending the elbows, without bending the knees, feel you're squeezing the biceps to the ears. Now, push the hips towards the left. Keep stretching towards the right as you push the hips towards the left and that will create a tremendous stretching on the left side of your body. Your whole left side should stretch all the way from your heels all the way to your fingertips. Feel the skin stretching, feel the bone stretching inside and outside. Arms and head back a little bit and chin up. Bring the arms back. There you go. Nice. Now push the hips a little bit forward, body weight on the heels. Try to keep the alignment, push the left hip forward a little bit and the right shoulder forward to open the chest, breathe normal. Try to touch the ceiling, everyone stretch more. There you go, now push the hips. Push, 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 change, come up, stop in the middle, take a deep breath. Full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch out of your waist and slowly bend the body to the left. Check your palms, are they touching all the way to your wrist? Squeeze the palms. Now elbow stretch, biceps in the, uh, touching the ears and push the hips to the right. Now the stretching is on the right side of your body, everywhere. Check your wrists, this should be straight. Don't point them forward, straighten the wrists. There you go, now push the hips to the right, hips forward, upper body leaning back, feel the body weight on the heels, no white toes. Right hip forward, left shoulder forward, chin up. Now try to touch the ceiling with the arms, stretch and start pushing and push and push and push, change, come up, stop in the middle, nice, breathe through the nose, it's better. Now backward bending, inhale, relax the neck, drop the head back, breathe through your nose, take a deep breath, inhale and then bring your arms back immediately, try to touch the wall behind you with your finger, just bending your whole spine, backward bending from your coccyx to your neck. Make sure you bend your lower back, the middle back, the upper back, whole spine, backward bending. Don't be afraid, push the upper body back, try to fold them backwards, heels on the floor please. Push the hips, stomach, legs, everything forwards and now bring the arms back, way back, look back, fold back, touch back, change, come up, nice. Next forward bending, Parahastasana. Bend forward, pull the stomach in and bend the knees, put the hands on the floor in front of you, Keep the feet flat on the floor and move the knees right and left, right and left a couple of times. Relax the lower back, right, left, right, left. You're trying to relax the lower back, so keep the feet flat. Just relax the lower back. Okay, now bend the knees and grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Bring the elbows behind your calf muscles, invisible. Now keep the knees bent as, as long as you need to. Pull the heels, stretch the body from the lower back towards the floor like you're sliding your body on your thighs. Relax the neck, put the head below the knees and slowly roll forward and try to stretch the legs and lock the knees. Eyes open, breathe normal, keep pulling. The object of stretching is pulling. Pull how you pull, feel how you pull the heels and the spine stretches. Roll forward, lock the knees, change. Come up, arms and head together. Stomach in, go all the way up, bring the arms down, close your mouth, breathe through your nose, let it go. Awkward pose, right foot steps to right, six inches, exact same distance between the toes and the heels. Look at your feet, they should be parallel. Your heels should be exactly behind your toes. Keep your feet there, please don't move there. Arms up, parallel to the floor, all fingers together. Keep the fingers together, stretch your arms forward, make sure your arms are solid like concrete. Try to touch whatever is in front of you with your fingertips. Exhale, pull the stomach in and sit down with your feet flat position, your spine straight to begin. All the way into the chair, sit down on the chair, chin up and chest up, push your upper body back, bring the maximum body weight on your heels, you're trying to fold them backwards. Pull the stomach in, compression of your abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles, pull it in, soak it in, hold it and tighten it, ribcage visible, keep six inches between toes, heels, knees, hands, chin up, chest up, push your upper body back, you're trying to fold down backwards, change, come up, keep the arms there, second part, concentrate, meditate, stand upon your toes, maximum, all the way, stretch your spine, your chest, your whole upper body up towards the ceiling. Imagine I'm pulling the hair up towards the ceiling, natural human traction. Exhale, stomach in and sit down on the top of your toes. Don't bring the heels down. Heels up and hips down. 
slide on a wall with the spine straight, continually pushing the upper body back so the spine is straight. Now point the knees up towards the ceiling, try to come up higher on your toes. Come on, higher on the toes, suck the stomach in, push your upper body back, spine straight. You should be sitting on a chair, so everybody go to the chair, sit down, change, come up. Keep the arms there, heels down. Third part, stand up on your toes, squeeze the knees as hard as possible, and then go down at your own 10 count as slow as possible. Go down all the way until you're, there is half an inch between your hips and your heels, so you really have to sit really, really far down. Continue to push your upper body back so the spine straight. There should be no gap between the back of your head and your hips and the wall you're leaning against. Half an inch is not even my thumbnail, your thumbnail. So keep sitting the hips down, pushing the upper body back. Thighs should be parallel to the floor, so bring the knees down a little bit forward. Keep the, the yes, now 90 degree angles like a rectangle. Squeeze the knees, concentrate, and with the spine straight, come up, don't bring the heels down. Concentrate, concentrate. Yeah, that's concentration. Feet together, bring the arms down, let it go. Just breathe through your nose. No thought, no thought you won't get in trouble. Right arm, left arm, remember which one's which, don't forget. Inhale, arms to the head sideways, bring the right arm underneath the left arm, put the hands in front of your face, your thumbs towards your face, put the palms together if you can. If the palms, if the fingertips are not aligned exactly, interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers and then pull the elbows down so that the fingertips go down below the nose. Your shoulders are supposed to hurt. Exhale, stomach in and sit down until the hips touch the chair. And stay there, bring the right leg high over the left leg. Bring the right foot behind the left calf muscle and look at your toes. Maybe they will come around the other side. Squeeze the two legs like ropes. Bring the hips down, please try to sit down more. Chest up and lean back more. There should be no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle if the foot is around. If your foot's not coming down, please sit down more. If you're losing the balance, lean back more. Knees to the right, upper body to the left to keep the toes, the knees, the elbows, the hands, everything in one line. Pull the stomach in and everybody please sit down, sit down. Now lean back at the end. Change, come up, arms to the head sideways, palms together. Bring the other side, the left arm underneath the right. Hands in front of your face, that's you're doing fantastic. Interlace the fingers, keep the feet together. Pull the elbows down, exhale, stomach in, sit down. Stay down there, bring the left leg as high as possible over the right leg. The higher, it's easier. Bring the left foot behind the calf muscle if you can. Squeeze the legs like if there were two ropes. Sit down, sit down, lean back, and try to feel no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle. Bring the knees to the left and the upper body to the right so that the toes, knees, elbows, hands, everything's in one line. If you're losing the balance, please sit down more. Lean back more, suck the stomach in, sit down, lean back, change, come up, arms to the head, bring the arms down, close your mouth, breathe through your nose. Mm. Everything disappears because it's gone. So that's it, one breath, gone. Dandayamana Janushirasana, bring the body weight to the left leg, interlace your fingers and grab your right foot in front of you underneath, two inches below the toes. All ten fingers interlace position. Now look forward, don't look right below you, look forward and meditate, concentrate, start to finish on your left knee. Think on the left leg, it should be solid, it should be concrete, it should be locked, left knee locked, left leg should be solid like concrete, like a lamppost, one piece and unbroken. If the left knee doesn't bend, gently and slowly bring the right foot up until it's exactly parallel to the floor or stay where you are. Kick the heel forward, pull the toes towards your face, try to lock both knees. If your left knee bends, posture hasn't started yet, so think of the left knee and lock it. Kick the heel forward, pull the toes towards your face. If both knees are locked and the legs are like an upside down L, then bend the elbows and bring the elbows down below the calf muscle. Keep locking the left knee, think in your mind, left knee, lock the knee, lock the knee, change. Bring the right foot down. Bring the body weight to your right leg. If you need to wipe your hands, interlace your fingers and grab your left foot in front of you underneath, two inches below the toes. All ten fingers, interlace position. Now concentrate, meditate, look forward, chin away from your chest. Now meditate on your right knee. Think, no knee, no knee. Squeeze the right thigh really tight. Squeeze the right buttocks. Suck the stomach in. 
If your right knee is locked, gently and slowly bring the left leg up. It has to be parallel to the floor, not higher, no lower. Keep kicking the heel forward, pulling the toes as your face, so the left knee also is locked. Both knees are locked, then bend the elbows. The elbows should go down below the calf muscle. That's beautiful. Just stay where you can go. Breathing normal. Lock the right knee, lock the knee, lock the knee. Change. Bring the left leg down. Feet together. Dandayamana Dainurasana, standing bow. Right elbow touching your body with a palm facing up in front of you. Then bring it out to the side. Look at the palm, it's facing up. Like if you're holding something, don't drop it and grab the right foot from inside at your ankle with all fingers together, thumb next to the index fingers. Try to bring it closer to your ankle. There you go. Bring left arm up. Try to touch the ceiling with your left fingertips. Your left shoulder goes close to your chin. Look at your knees. Keep them together to begin with. Lock the left knee. Take a deep breath, full lungs, and charge the body forward immediately. Kick the right leg back as hard as possible. Bend your body from the lower back until the chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor. Continually keep kicking your right leg back. Kick it up. Kick it harder. Feel the right shoulder going back and stretch the left shoulder forward. Your shoulders are stretching each other in opposite directions, like natural human traction. Think about this. If you kick and stretch equal and simultaneous, you can balance. So find the balance and bring the body down and start kicking because if you kick, you can stay there. Think that you're hanging from your right foot. You're kicking it so hard that you can stay there forever. Kick, kick, change. Right foot down, feet together, left arm down. Left hand in front of you, elbow touching your body. Bring the left elbow to the side. Bring the left arm down. Grab the left foot at the ankle, all fingers together. Right arm up, try to touch your ceiling, shoulder close to your chin, keep the knees together to begin with. Inhale, full lungs and charge your body forward, immediately kick the left leg back as hard as possible. Bend the body from the lower back until the chest and abdomen are parallel to the floor, continually keep kicking the left leg back, kick it up, kick it harder. Try to touch the mirror with the right fingertips, kick the left shoulder back, both shoulders are in one line. If you go down low enough, both heels will be in one line. And notice how kicking and stretching are equal and simultaneous. You can balance there. Just f slow the breath, look forward, and start kicking. The harder you kick, you can stay there. Kick, kick, go for it. Kick, change. Feet together. Look forward, relax your face. Now step to the back of your mat to do two lead and dust and a balancing stick pose. It only lasts for 10 seconds, so make sure you're going to use 100% of your strength immediately. Arms to head sideways, palms together, interlace the fingers. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling so that you t your elbows don't bend, touch the ceiling. Chin up, don't look down, look forward. Left foot steps forward, big step, point the right toes, and then bring the body down and the leg up. Keep your biceps touching with your ears, so don't bring the arms down. Arms up, arms up next to the ears. Yes, body down, leg up, stretch your left foot back, stretch your arms forward. Imagine I'm pulling your hands and your foot at the same time. So stretch and stretch and stretch, change. Left foot back, right foot back, arms ahead back, chin up. Left foot steps forward, big step, point the right toes, lock both knees. Keep the arms pulling up. Body down, leg up, body down, leg up. Let the shoulders open. So bring the arms a little bit higher. Pawn the right toes. Bring the right hip down. Suck the stomach in. Everybody, bring the body down a little bit more. Leg up. Stretch. Keep stretching. You have to stretch, stretch, stretch. Change. Right foot back, left foot back. Bring the arms down. Close your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Turn to the left side. To do Dandayamana Vipakta Pada Paschimottanasana. Standing separate legs. Stretching. Inhale. Arms to the head. Palms together, the right foot goes to the right, a big step. Arms down, immediately parallel to the floor. Heels in one line, tuck the toes slightly inwards. Chin up, lock the knees, squeeze the thighs, exhale, look forward, chin away from the chest and stretch from the lower back towards the floor. Keep stretching, 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 then grab the heels from outside. And if you don't reach the heels, grab the sides of the feet. So don't put the hands in front of you, bring them next to your feet. There you go, that's it. Now the legs are stretching from outside, the hands from outside, look at him. There you go, roll forward towards your toes, pull harder, lock the knees and try to touch the forehead on the floor. If your hair is not touching the floor, try this. Without letting go of the feet, separate your feet a little bit more. That brings the head closer to the floor. Pull harder, roll forward. Don't bring your chin towards your chest, there you go, stretch the neck. Stretch the neck and you will touch. Your chin is going towards your 
chest. Stretch your neck. Stretch your neck. Uh, no, the other way. Stretch it. Touch it. Stretch your neck. No, no. A little bit more. Chin is too much tuck. No. Like that. Yeah. Now roll forward. Touch, 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 touch it, touch, touch. There you go. Look. Change. Come up. That was so close. Good. You want to stretch the cervicals. Arms up. Feet together. Woo. Feel the blood rushing down. Nice. Trikonasana. Arms with head sideways. Palms together. Right foot steps to right. Big step. Immediately bring the arms down. Part of the floor. Keeps four arms back. Chin up. Right foot goes out to the right. Until it's parallel to just the side of your mat. Bend the right knee and sit down until your right thigh is parallel to the floor. So bounce a little bit more. Bounce and bounce and bounce. Freeze there. Right thigh parallel to the floor. Separate your legs a little bit wider so that your knee doesn't go in front of your heel. So keep sitting down. Your knee doesn't go in front of the heel to protect the knee. Now move both arms at the same time and put the right fingertips in between the big toe and the second toe. The left arm up. Make sure your both arms are stretching in opposite directions. The left shoulder on top of the right shoulder exactly. Push the right knee back to keep knees in one line. Left hip forward. Left foot flat on the floor. Now stretch. Try to touch the ceiling and twist the spine. Stretch really, really, really a lot the arms and twist. Twist, twist, change. Beautiful. Very nice postures. Right foot forward, left foot out to the side. Bend the left knee and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Stay down there. Arms back, spine in the center. Move both arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Right arm up. Look up. Chin towards your shoulder. Stretch your right arm up. Left arm down. Try to touch in between the big toe and the second toe. Sit down more. Slide. Stretch the left arm. There you go. Now stretch your right arm. Look up. Feel the right arm stretching. Let it go. Release the right arm all the way and feel the left shoulder releasing. And now you can touch. Twist, twist, change. Come up. Arms up, feet together. Bring the arms down. Close your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Relax your face. Let it go. You know, we just do this because that's what we have to do. We're here, so we just do it. No reason, no expectation. We're not expecting anything out of it. We're just doing it. Inhale, arms with head, sideways, palms together. That's yoga. Right foot steps to the right. One meter. Big step. One meter. Imagine you're measuring a room. How big would you step? So make sure your feet are a little bit wider. Wider, 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 wider. Now turn to the right. Push the left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Stretch your arms. Chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. And go down until your forehead touches your knee. Bend the right knee if you need to, but put the forehead on the knee. This is a compression. Please, forehead must touch the knee. Put the hands on the floor in front of you so that your elbows don't bend. Push the floor with the fingertips so you can try to push the right knee back. Throat is choked. Eyes are open. Breathe normal. Bring the right hip up, left hip down. Square the hips. Push the right knee, push the floor and push the right knee a couple of times. Change, come up, push the left hip forward. Stretch your arms and turn to the left, 180 degrees. Keep the heels in one line. Push the right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch, your heels should be in one line. Stretch, chin to your chest, suck the stomach in and then bring your forehead to your exact left knee. Touch it. Bend the knee if you need to, do whatever you have to, touch it. Feel the forehead and the knee touching. You can, you can. Even if the sweat goes into your eyes, your nose, your ears, it's okay. You're just there breathing normally. Aha, touch it and stay there. How can you stay there? Because you control your breath and especially you control your mind. Any thought, you don't need it. You're just doing the pose. It's not about what you can do or can't do. You're just letting the body try. Push the knee back, change, come up. Very nice. Come up, feet together. Arms down, look forward. <coughs> Turn around and look forward. Body weight on your left leg, bring the right foot up. Right heel as high as possible until it touches your shorts. Slowly push the right knee back, hips forward, keep one, both knees in one line. Grab the foot from inside with the left hand. Right hand in front of you. If your foot doesn't slip, put the palms together. Concentrate, stretch, try to touch the ceiling. Change, bring the right foot down. Body weight on the right foot, bring the left leg up. 
Grab the foot from inside with the right hand, sole of the foot facing the ceiling, and pull the heel as high as possible. Slowly bring the left knee back, hips forward, both knees in one line. Bring the hand in front of your, in front of your chest. Put in front of your chest the hand, and if you can, both hands together. But if the foot slips, keep holding it. Bring your hand towards your chest, like this. Mm -hmm. Stretch up, pull the knees in one line, squeeze the right thigh, stretch up, change, bring the foot down. Turn around and lay down on your back, please. Savasana. Immediately go to a breath where you just totally let go of everything. When you do Savasana during the hot yoga, don't close your eyes, keep them open. Keep the feet as close together as possible. Keep the arms inside of your mat. So it's a little bit of different savasana. You're learning to be in total concentration, awareness with your eyes open. Keep the attention on the breath, don't even blink. And you let the body go. See this breath, how it's nice, calm, deep? Try to use this same exact breath when you're doing the postures. Especially in the maximum expression of each posture. You will never injure yourself, you will always stay healthy, and you will go to another space. So notice the breath, and this is the breath you have to keep. Pavana Muktasana, bring the right leg up, bend it at the knee, grab the leg two inches below the knee, and pull the right knee towards your right shoulder. You should be avoiding your ribcage, so it's sliding to the right side of the ribcage. Stretch the left leg. If you have to bend the left toe so that the left calf touches the floor, bring the chin towards your chest. Try to put the back of the head on the floor. Look at your knee. Throat is choked. Eyes are open. You're breathing normal. Elbows next to the body. Relax the shoulders on the floor. Pull the right knee one more time. Squeeze it really tight. Hold it. Change. Stretch the right leg. Bend the left knee and grab the leg two inches below the knee. Pull the left knee towards your left shoulder, avoiding the ribcage. Stretch the neck on the towel, chin towards your chest. Right foot stretch. You need to bang the right toes towards your face, bring the calf to the floor. Keep the elbows together to the body. Relax the shoulders on the floor. Pull a little bit harder than freezer. Pull one more time, please. Go, go deeper. Pull. Change. Stretch the left leg. Let it go, relax, breathe. Did you remember the breath? Usually we forget. But the more you train yourself to always breathe this way, your life is going to be like this. Your whole life as a vasana, regardless of what you're doing. Think about that. It can happen. Feet together, arms to the head, and sit up, pull your toes. Forehead to your knees, double jerk, exhale, turn around, lay down on your stomach to do Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. Put the hands underneath your shoulders, as close to your chest as possible, fingers tips in line with the shoulders, little baby fingers in line with the deltoids. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders so that they're invisible. There you go, knees together, heels together, your legs solid, your hips are concrete, you don't have two legs anymore, just one tail like a cobra. Take a deep breath, inhale, and bring the body up. Chest up, whole body up until the belly button touches the floor. Rest of the body is in the air. Pull the elbows down, relax the shoulders, and everybody go up. 90 degree angles on your elbows. Keep the elbows close to the body. There you go. Now, everybody, chest up. Go a little bit higher. Hold it. Hold it there. And come down. Turn to the right. Stretch the arms. Let it go. Just... Don't watch further than your mat. There's no need. See, the beauty about practicing like this is you don't have to think anything. You just let the body follow the instructions. You are just witnessing. Chin on the towel. Put your palms facing down. Salabhasana. Palms facing down. Bring your arms underneath your body. Try to touch little baby fingers, each other side by side. Elbows are invisible underneath your stomach. Relax the left leg, point the right toes. Inhale and bring the right leg up to 45 degrees. 
keep the right hip down push the palms on the floor relax the chest to the floor you're opening the upper back so feel the upper back opening right leg up 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 and then bring the right leg down relax it point the left toes inhale and bring the left leg up to 45 degrees which is half of 90 keep the left hip down palms flat on the floor grab the towel with your fingertips now bring the chest to the floor change bring the leg down mouth on the towel please do not move the mouth from the towel knees together heels together take a deep breath and both legs go up at the same time relax the shoulder chest to the floor please you have to try a little bit higher legs up try a little bit more don't give up there you go legs up legs up legs stay there stay there legs up legs up legs up and let it go turn to the left right in on the towel hmm you know when the postures when you feel the challenge and you breathe calmly you're training yourself to breathe that way in situations of stress it will become a natural reaction of you any stress and you will breathe slower then you will be control always of your life chin on the towel stretch the arms to the side like airplane wings knees together and heels together Purna Salabhasana, take a deep breath, inhale, and arms, head, chest, legs, everything goes up like a 747 taking off, stretch the arms to the side, chest up, feet together, bring the legs up, arms up, arms, hands in line with the head, look up and chest up, everybody try to go up higher, chest up, come on, chest up, 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 come down, turn to the right, let it go. Yesterday I was sharing with some of you a breathing and yoga nidra class and I was saying, should we embrace everything? Think about it, reflect about it. Should we embrace every situation? Okay, chin on the towel, bend the knees, grab the feet from outside, two inches below the toes. Danurasana bow pose. Heels and knees should not come apart more than six inches. Your wrists should be straight. Take a deep breath and kick the legs and body up. Legs, kick the legs as hard as possible. Look up, chest up. Everybody, don't stop kicking. You're not pulling the legs, you're kicking the arms back. Look up, chest stuck. Now, everybody, look up and kick. Keep kicking. Everybody, kick as hard as possible. Feel the strength of your legs. Kicking, kick, 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 and break. Turn to the left, right here on the towel, and let it go. So, I think that class is recorded. You can find it online, so you can hear. But basically, it's, our, it's the only option to embrace every situation, because we don't control the situations. But we can control how we relate to everything that happens. So embrace it, and then figure out how to dance with it. Relax your face. So that's the same thing you do here in the postures. You're doing a posture and you just like breathe and go for it. Okay, push yourself up, come up to the top of your mat. Sit down Japanese style, sit down on your heels, bring your hips up, open your heels and bring the hips in between your heels. No gap, please, between the hips and the heels. If you have to open the knees, go ahead, open the knees as much as you need to, but keep hips and heels touching. Hands to your feet, bend the right elbow, left elbow, drop the head back first, top of the head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, relax the shoulders on the floor, arms to the head, pull the arms down, chin to your chest. Bring the heels a little bit closer so that your knees don't hurt. There you are, now do it. Now open the knees, keep the heels where they are. Yeah, yeah, let them open, now go back. Touch the floor with the head by opening the knees. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, top of the head, there you go. Ah, once your body knows that it can do it, you will always be able to do it. Fantastic, congratulations. Relax the neck, relax the neck, you're fine. Open, separate the knees, yeah. There you go, see? change come up I can explain to you later if the heels are touching the hips your knees are completely safe turn around lay down on your back in Savasana that was great nice what about that first time after four years yay mm -hmm. it's all about the technique really 
think about this. If, if, I, if your body was put to sleep, like when you're going to have surgery, anesthesia, could, it, could we put your body in any pose? We could, right? Feet together, arms ahead, and sit up. Pull your toes, forehead to your knees. Hmm, how do we explain that? What's the difference? You're thinking. If you think, you get in trouble. Sit down on your knee, on your heels. Arms of the head. Oh, that's giving me a cue for what we're going to do after this class in the Tantra. Palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch your arms, chin away from your chest, exhale. Lean forward, put the forehead on the knee, little baby fingers on the floor. Bring the hips down to the heels. Stretch your arms forward so much that your shoulders are supposed to hurt, scapula coming out of the body, chin away from the chest, feel your spine stretching from the coccyx to the fingertips, stretch, 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 change, come up, arms up, bring the arms down, turn around, lay down on your back, let it go, just the breath, just the breath, the posture is you, that's it. Mm. Feet together, arms to the head and sit up, pull your toes, forehead to your knees. Camel pose, Ustrasana. Woo. Go to the front of your mat, stand up on your knees. Separate your knees eight inches, keep the feet at six inches. Put the hands on your back, thumbs outside, fingers pointing down. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop the head back, relax the neck. Then. Go back halfway only and stop right there. Get, let the body get used to backward bending and stay there. Now, if you can, you can bring your right hand to your right heel, the left hand to your left heel. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, push the hips forward towards the mirror. Close your mouth, eyes open, breathe normal. Keep pushing the hips forward. Keep pushing the hips forward. Let the chest open, push the hips forward. Find the breath where you could stay here until tomorrow. Find that it's there, breathe normal, push the hips. Don't put the weight on the hands, just push the hips forward, no weight on your hands. Come up and put, come up, turn around, sit down, turn around, lay down on your back in Savasana. So next time, it's better to keep the hands here, backward bending, than putting the hands and leaning all the way back. All right, slowly, slowly. Where do we have to go? What do we have to achieve? Feet together, arms to the head and sit up, pull your toes, forehead to your knees. Turn around, sit down on your heels, rabbit pose. Grab your heels from outside, put the towel over your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Inhale, chin to your chest, look at your stomach, roll forward and put the forehead on your knees. Then automatically the top of the head is on the floor, grab the heels and bring the hips up. And feel how your arms are stretching. Put the forehead on the floor. Roll forward. If your forehead is not touching the knees, you can keep the head there and walk the knees forward. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep trying to bring the hips a little bit higher. Feeling how you're stretching the spine. Maximum. Eyes open, throat choked. Breathe normal. Don't think. Forget about what you believe you are. Change, bring your hips down, turn around, lay down on your back in Savasana. See, how could your magnificence be held in one simple little thought? So forget anything you think about who you are, what you can do or what you cannot do. Oh, I, I'm the one that cannot do this or I'm the one that that and the other. No. Find every moment where the heart wants to go and let the body go where the heart wants to go. Feet together, arms to the head and sit up, pull your toes, forehead to your knees. Sit facing forward, right foot out, left foot in, Janu Shirasana. Bend the left foot and create pressure against the right thigh with the sole of your left foot. Arms over the head, turn to the right, go down, grab the foot two inches below the toes, pull the toes towards your face, lift the heel of the floor if you can. Now put the forehead on the knee. Please bend the right knee as much as you need to. It doesn't matter, put the forehead on the knee. This is the name of the posture, forehead on the knee. So bend the right knee. Bend it, bend it, bend it. Yeah, here you go, beautiful, nice. Now, when your forehead is touching the knee, push the knee down with the forehead if you want. Bring the left elbow down, roll to the left, shoulders in one line. Those of you that have the forehead on the knee, you can try to bring the head closer to your stomach. 
and push the knee down, lock it, change. Nice postures, arms up, left foot out, thank you for trusting. Right foot in, create pressure against the left thigh with the sole of the right foot, turn to the left, grab your foot two inches below the toes, pull the toes towards your face, chin to your chest, forehead to your knee. Continue to push the knee down with the forehead, bring the elbows down. Feel how you're compressing your thyroid and all your internal organs. Feel how you're stretching your kidneys. Slide the head closer to your stomach, bring the elbows to the floor next to the calf muscles. Now try to push the knee down one. Forehead on the knee, forehead on the knee, change. There you go, come up, feet forward, lay down on your back, immediately sit up, double exhale. Come up, grab your big toes with your middle and your index fingers, walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, stretch your knees. Chin up and chest up, please, very important, look forward, chin away from your chest, pull the toes, lift the heels of the floor, and without bending the knees, pull harder. Feel that you're stretching the spine from the lower back towards the top of the head, pull, stretch the legs and pull, pull, change, don't go back, just turn to the left. Bend the left knee and bring the right foot over the left knee to do the spine twist. Arda Chandrasana. No, Arda something. Maschandrasana. Put the right heel touching the, the knee. More, more, more. There you go. Now it's going to be easier. Left arm up. Put the left knee, left elbow on the knee. Grab the left knee with the left hand. Bring the right hand behind you. Maybe you can even grab your left thigh with your right hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist. Feel how you're stretching your spine up and down all the way and twist and twist. Look back, twist, twist, change. Switch your legs around. So listen, bend the right knee and now put the left foot on the floor and check. You see your left foot, it sh should not be so close to your hip. Bring it to the knee. More, more, more. Heel and knee touching. Now you're going to be able to do it. Right arm up. Now pull the knee and now grab the knee with the hand. Knee, hand and heel, one point. There you go. Inhale, stretch up and now twist the spine. Yes, beautiful. Nice pose. Inhale, stretch up and twist. Try to stretch up the spine. Think of cobra chest. Push the ch chest forward and twist, twist, change. Turn around, lay down on your back. Mm. So quick. So what is it that we have to achieve? Nothing. What is there to achieve? You're already alive. Just live. Imagine what it means when you realize that all this time we've been told that we have to achieve this, achieve that, do this, do that. And really, that wasn't the way. You're going to feel so amazing. Stay for the Tantra. L sit down on your knees or if not, watching online. Sit down on your knees, kapal bati. This is the truth, guys, nothing to achieve. Just this breath and then the next one. Put the hands on your knees, spine straight, look forward. Relax your abdomen. You're gonna only exhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. That will purify your lungs, Kapalabhati breathing. Ready? <laughs> Go faster. Turn around. Lay down on your back. Savasana. Just lay down on your back. Savasana. Let it all go. This time, if you want, you can close your eyes. Just be. Just breathe. It's all you need, your breath. It's like you lose sensation. You, there's a lot of feeling, but no physical sensation anymore. Just like a vibration is left. 
and then your attention is watching the breath and now just let try to imagine feel any way you can how you are everywhere you are everywhere right now everywhere You know that's true because the vibration inside you is the same one outside of you. There's no, no difference. So truly you are everywhere. Mm. Not me, no you. Know where I begin, know where you end and let your heart just open and overflow. That's a, the biggest bliss we can ever feel is when we just let our heart be, when we just love, because this is the human. You know, flowers, they release their aroma. Human beings, we love. That's what we are, loving beings. Thank you for all the honor of sharing with you the practice. Stay here as long as you need to. It's been an honor to share with you. I look forward to seeing you online or the next time here, or maybe in the next class. I love you. I love you. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day.